G'day Gemini, welcome to TJ Terra Down Under. Gonna do the love energy coming towards you as at now. Let's see what's going on. Alright, so it's a general reading, so take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, check out your other placements or check out my playlist and see if there's something there that resonates more with your current timeline. Cross watches, this could be you, but if it's not, this is somebody else. So keep that in mind. And thank you all for your like, share, subscribes and views. Every single one of them is greatly appreciated. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All the decks that I'm using in the reading today will be listed in the description box below in the order that I'm using them. All right, let's go. Gemini. Message for you is... Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So always get to know someone first before you deepen your bond. Children. Your love life is being affected by children. So, hmm. You're looking for that childhood innocence? Are you going into this a bit childishly? Make sure you're not. Do you have childhood issues you need to deal with? Oh, you're going to make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Mm, but there's some deception here. You're wearing a false mask about something? About what? Oh, releasing your ex. Have you not released your ex, Gemini? I'm trying to make the effort here, but... Mm, if you haven't released your ex, you're going to have some issues here. Mm, you're just trying to get to know somebody? But you haven't... Yeah, it's a new love. New person has stirred your romantic feelings, but you haven't released your ex properly yet. You're de deceiving yourself with something here. Possibly acting a bit childish. Gemini. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a high level of commitment. Hmm. You're already in a commitment. What are you doing? Hmm. Alright. Well, if it's not that that's not the case for you, then all good. All right. Love energy coming towards Gemini. Three cards, please. Uh-oh. One more. Thank you. All right. So they have unrequited love. Mm, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Hmm. And then they have flirt. Extend your light-hearted energy to others. And then we've got soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Okay. That's interesting. I'm feeling that might be separate. Hmm. Someone's flirting with you, but it's unrequited. It's not... Yeah, it's nothing more than flirting. Is this what you're looking at? This You've got a soulmate here. Which I'm feeling is separate from those two. <clears throat> Bottom of the deck is religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So someone's got different belief systems to you. Mm, and they're trying to free themselves and take back control of their life. From some sort of childhood issues. Again, make the effort. So, I'm getting... Ah, uh, that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting... Well, it could be a soulmate here to teach you a lesson of some sort. We'll see. But I'm getting that, um... Yeah, this flirting unrequited is making some effort, but it's, there's some sort of issues here, they're acting very childish here, they're going to free themselves because they don't believe the same thing you believe. They know it's not going anywhere, that this is just a bit of flirty fun. Yeah, the ace, of, when I picked up the deck, that was still down, the ace of wands showed itself, so I think that's all just about passion. Are you going to risk? <coughs> mm. We'll find out. We'll find out. You haven't 
properly released your ex. You're deceiving yourself about releasing that ex, but you're looking at some someone else. Hmm. What am I doing? <laughs> All right. Let's find out more. I forgot to do this, didn't I? Got distracted by this energy. Now I think they're a distraction for you. Instead of dealing with what's going on with that ex. Message for Gemini is... King of Swords, this is you. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Better get your head on straight. I just heard... <laughs> Communicate clearly exactly what you want. Think clearly. Get your mind right. Six of Wands, Ace of Swords, and the Emperor. Yeah. Um, you better get your head on right here because you're not thinking right because you're just seeking some attention at the moment. But it's not going to bring you truth and clarity. The truth is you want to feel back in control again. You're trying to control something here. Trying to seek attention. That's your plan. Hmm. Well, you're trying to make the ex jealous or something. That's a bit childish. Hmm. <coughs> okay. That's it for you. So I got the message out. Tell me about unrequited love for this love energy coming towards Gemini, please. Alright, we've got the Ace of Pentacles. And the Ace of Swords. Ooh. Wow, two aces. Hmm, they're thinking there's not enough chemistry here, which there isn't. Look. It's stability and truth. Conversation. And the 3D, but where's the passion, where's the love? There's no chemistry here. There's no attractional chemistry. It's all about money. It could be a business partner. And conversation. They're seeing you as someone they can work with, someone that they can bounce ideas off. <coughs> Nine of Swords, Sleepless Nights, stressing about it, thinking about it a lot, thinking about how this is, this is just work and, you know, they they like your mind, but I don't think there's anything else with that. And I think they're a bit worried about the fact that there's another Ace, the Ace of Cups, that you think this is love. Four of Cups, the Hierophant and the Ten of Wands, yeah, yeah. Because I think that they think you might want to offer this couple love, but I don't know if they're interested in it. They're not interested in commitment. They see that's going to be a burden. Their belief systems are totally different to yours. Um, mm. Yeah, I think that they're just into flirting. They're just flirting with you, but it's... It could be someone you work with. They like the conversation and, you know, you work well together. But anything more than that, I think it's just going to do... You no, know, nah, that's, that's a nightmare for them. I just saw the Nine of Pentacles. It's, that's a single person who's stable, grounded, worked all hard. And, yeah, Nine of Wands jumped out. I don't think they're... Um, they're a bit tired of this. Feeling like a wounded warrior. It's another. We, we, that makes three nines, doesn't it? Nine of swords, nine of pentacles, nine of wands. They're all. It's all the last single number. Page of wands. Aries, Leo, Sag. Yeah, this is passionate messages. A bit of flirting. Because it's a page. It's it's flirting. It's innocent flirting. They've just been flirting with you, Gemini. All right. Tell me about flirt for this love energy coming towards Gemini. The tower. Yeah. <coughs> um, big change. Yeah. 
The flirting is going to, yeah, I think they're going to stop this flirting. Mm. It's going to be a big shocking change with this flirting. Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is your energy, but... Um, yeah, I think that it's gathering information, spying, but I don't think they're spying on you. I think they're, um, yeah, so he's not saying anything either. I think that they might shock you in the fact that this was all just about getting information from you. About work. Under the deck is the King of Wands. Um, Aries Leo Sag energy. Yeah, he's passionate. He's charismatic. He's sexy. He knows what he wants. Goes after it. But he no he's mastered his element. So he knows how to control his passions. They're controlling their passions. Ooh, Five of Swords. Queen of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And Six of Cups. Okay, so yeah, they're, they're um, controlling their passions because they've been through some sort of manipulation before, been cut out in the past because of their manipulating ways, or they've been cut, cut um, hurt by someone and cut them out in the past. Mm, they're trying to get back their control. So, mm, controlling their passions... Sabotaging this. Something got sabotaged that they came correctly to in the past. That's why they're controlling their passions with you. Because, yeah, nah. I don't think they're, um... Well, again, there's no... Apart from that King of, King of Wands, there's nothing out here about love. All right, that was the right message. Tell me about soulmate for this love energy coming towards Gemini. Oh, it's gone on the floor. Okay. So we've got the King of Pentacles, Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. The Four of Cups. And the Eight of Cups, wow, this is the same person. They're a soulmate, but they're here to teach you something. We have heaps of soulmates. I don't think this is a romantic one. Um, or else, the person that you were committed to, or who's committed to you, um, no, the person, yeah, the person that you were committed to is going to find about out about this offer and they're going to walk away. You're going to lose both people here. Your ex is going to walk away because they're going to find out about this offer. That you're looking at some, someone else. <sighs> yeah, your soulmate's sitting at home waiting for you to come back. They're going to find out that you got an offer from someone else and... Um, they're going to walk away. It's not that. Mm, sorry. <clears throat> yeah, page of Cups. Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. Little flirty love messages. They might send you a message of love. Or it's all because of this message of love that things end. Look, the death card. Knight of Wands, Aries Leo, Sag Energy, the Chariot and Temperance. Yeah, this could end things because they'll see you as a player. And they'll move on. Because they were patiently waiting, patiently waiting, but now they're going to move on. They can see that you're just playing them, so it's going to be over. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, I thought they were separate. They are separate. 
Oh, Gemini. One of the other readings had a separate thing like this, but I can't remember who it was. <clears throat> Might have been Virgo. Anyway. But theirs was a different situation. Well, theirs was sort of the other way around. Anyway, <laughs> if you're dealing with the Virgo, check it out. But... <laughs> Seems to be a bit of a collective energy. All right, message for Gemini is within the next few weeks, trust, let go, perfect timing. Oh. So within the next few weeks, you're being called to trust the universe. Let go of this. I'm getting let go of this flirty energy. Because something's coming in perfect timing. But I also got, within the next few weeks, you better trust that your person, your soulmate, is going to let go. And it's probably not going to be the perfect time for you. It all seemed like perfect timing to them. Well, maybe they will let go of you in the perfect time. It's divine timing. It's something to be learnt here, I'm feeling. Alright, that's it for you. Okay. Love energy coming towards Gemini. What else can you tell us? Oh, that trust is out. Oh, one on the floor. That one. Okay. So we got that one. Oh, another one on the floor. And then that one. <coughs> I don't take reversals, but... Mm, that trust was in reverse. Someone doesn't trust you. I've got trust for them. Opportunity. Ooh. And if you believe. Hmm. I need a sip of drink. Hang on a second. Okay. Under the deck they have improving health. A year from now, it's up to you and peaceful resolution. And a year from now can be within a year. Doesn't have to be a year's time. Can be. Um, but we're not far from a new year. So it could be then. Just a couple, you know, month and a half away. Um, yeah. Someone wants to come to a peaceful resolution here with you. But it's going to be up to them. A year from now, they're, they're looking to the future and trying to improve the health of this relationship. So I'm getting this is more the soulmate in a year from now. But, I mean, it's up to them whether they can, whether, you know, this can be resolved peacefully between you two because they know that you're flirting with someone else. And that someone else isn't interested and anything but money and information. Or, like, work and just talking. Because I think anything more than that does their head in. Yeah, that flirting's going to stop once they get the info they need. Message for you, Gemini, is Four of Swords. You better heal things. Mm, definitely heal things. King of Wands, Aries Leo, Sag Energy, and the Empress. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, you got to heal. You better have a good, long, hard think about this. What is your wish fulfillment? You want to heal things with your partner. You've got to hold back those passions and control them. Because there's an Empress at stake here. 
someone you can grow with. We saw you had the, was it you or was it them, had the emperor before. What's under that? Hmm. Yeah. Do you want your empress or do you want to be single? Do you want to grow something with someone or do you want to stay single on your own? It's up to you to control these passions if you want that wish. You better have a good hard think about this, Gemini. Hmm. Two of Cups is at stake here. That soulmate. Yeah, and you might possibly end up with a broken heart or breaking someone's heart because you're. It's there's three swords here. Getting your heart broken, like they're gonna break your heart after you've broken your soulmate's heart. I mean, it's only two, but. Mm. Yeah, you're risking us some sort of commitment here with someone who's not even interested in that. Mm, just saw the King of Pentacles again. Long term stability, yeah, and yet what you're going to cheat on this cheat line still behind the back of this someone who's committed to you. Gemini, what are you doing? Really, you should sort your, sort your stuff out with your soulmate first. It, close that out before you go after anyone else. But, you know, this person you're going after, is, it sees it as unrequited. Yeah, you need to make it the right judgment call here. Okay. Tell me about trust for this love energy coming towards Gemini. Yeah. The world and the King Cups. Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. <sighs> yeah, your soulmate, um, the trust is broken, I think. You're gonna break their trust and the cycle will end. They'll still have a lot of love for you, but you ain't gonna see it anymore. They're going to control it and not show it to you anymore. Because the trust will be broken and will end the cycle. The moon, because of secrets. Maybe that, you know. Well, And fears. They have fears that you're going to keep hurting them. You can't be trusted. Secrets. And there's that Three of Swords again. Heartbreak. So you're going to break their heart. They're going to be stuck up in their head about this. <sighs> trying to get themselves... Trying to be patient with themselves. They're trying to be patient with you, but their intuition is telling them. Their intuition... Their, yeah, their intuition is telling them as much as they're trying to be patient with you and let you come forward um, or end that. Their intuition is telling them. That's why they're, it's going round and round and round in their head. That they're going to get their heart broken here. Oh, Gemini, what are you doing? Okay. Tell me about opportunity. This love energy coming towards Gemini. There it is again, that heartbreak. Yeah, you taking up that opportunity is breaking their heart. Or the opportunity, this is the opportunity of here, this option that you have, it's it's just going to break your heart. They're out to break your heart. And there's another three, three of pentacles. I think you got these are the I think that's both of them. You've got an opportunity here with this one, but they're gonna break your heart because they're not 
that's unrequited and you've got an opportunity to heal things with this one. Work together with them. The Emperor, we saw the Empress before. The Knight of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, the Ten of Swords and the High Priestess. Hmm, well, I think they both know there's going to be a painful ending here if you go over the, after that other person. And I'm hearing they can't control what you do. You're the one that has to... You're the one that's in control of this, so what do you want to do? Go after that flirty person that's not, that's unrequited and have a painful ending with the one that actually is committed to you? Or are you just going to keep them, you know? Someone's intuition is kicking in that there's going to be a painful ending if you go towards this other energy. Could be towards an emperor. someone that's all about business it's all about business it's not love it's unrequited it's, there's no chemistry it's just about money and information mm. alright tell me about if you believe for this love energy coming towards Gemini The Magician. <sighs> Someone's trying to believe in magic and a miracle can happen. And that there will be this love between you two. So from the soulmate I'm getting, they're trying to believe that they can manifest for you two to get back together and stay together and have a new love beginning. Um, hmm. The flirt is like, they believe it would take a miracle for them to have any emotion for you. They, won't, they filled their own cup here. Mm, I think they're both trying to manifest in, trying to believe they can manifest in a beautiful love, but this one, it's not you. This one thinks it is you. And look, it's a judgment call is at the bottom. Can be reconciliation. Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Seven of Pentacles, Six of Wands. Yeah, someone's making a judgment call. They're going to spy, possibly spying. Someone's spying. Um, getting all the information they can about how to invest in something that will be successful. Now, this is the thing. Your soulmate wants to invest in you. Possibly make checking you out to make sure that, what are you doing? Can I invest in a life with you? Can we be successful together? This one, the unrequited, has made the judgment call that they're going to get all the information they can out of you on how to grow their own money tree and be successful. So, I think the bottom of the deck say it all. Religious factors, I think they've both got different belief systems when it comes to love. The death card, they're both trying to transform something here, but one's not, one's money and one's love with you. Improving health, they want their relationship to be more healthy. This, this one wants to improve their own health. And they both made the judgment call about what they want. Oh dear. Gemini, what's the message for you? 
love call. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. Oh, excuse me. The butterfly, relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child, growth. Yeah, I think you need to heal that inner child because you're acting a bit childish here. Camera, reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learn from the past, make memories and healing heart, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. Yeah, see, this is the thing. You've made memories with this person, now you're going to have to heal their broken heart because... <sighs> yeah, you're going to have, yeah, you're going to have to try and heal their heart. Someone you have memories with. You're going to have to heal your inner child and try and get this relationship back again to evolve. Make them that call. All because of one phone call. To a karmic. Fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. Yeah. Some, this person's just out to teach you a lesson. They're not a bad person. They're just flirting with you because they want to know information about money. Photograph. Look at your photos. Missing you. Nostalgia. Make new memories. Mm. Meanwhile, your soulmate's at home looking at pictures of you, wondering where you are. Okay. Love energy coming towards Gemini. Three cards, please, at least. What else can you tell us? Oh, okay. Well, that one was definitely first. And that one. And these all splurted out. That. So we've got Cupid's arrow, have faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation or meeting, hesitation. See, this is your partner having faith. Wedding rings, union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. This is someone you have, a, this is your soulmate that you're connected to. Girl with a snake, empath, narcissist, paradigm, being charmed or used, enable boundaries. This is this one, charming you, being, using you. Coffee cup, meeting and conversing, savouring the moment, feeling uplifted, friendship. I'm getting this is just a friendship, you need to understand that. Camera, reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learn from the past, make memories. This person here is reminiscing about you because you're gone. The Grim Reaper, the relationship's over, no second chances. Grow and transform your life. <sighs> Do you want this relationship to be over? Because they could end it. Or because of this. But this one's not going anywhere. This one's not even a relationship. Seduction, see? Attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. That's that side. Soulmates, see? Soul connection, partnership agreement, soul contract. Keys on a ring, many options, decision, unconventional string along, one night stand. That's this side. Dragonfly, be lighthearted, finding out, things coming to light, adapt, change, heal. See, this is this one. This one's the lighthearted flirting. They want to find out stuff. They want things to come to light so they can get what they want out of this. And see, the golden mirror, self-absorbed narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. There, they're seducing you. You're going to risk all of, you're going to risk something so good <coughs> for something that's not even worth it. <coughs> Getting played here, Gemini. The Phoenix, new phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, change, mind. See, you need to rekindle this because otherwise they're going to change their mind. Mirror, mirroring each other, self-image, relationships reflect our wounds, introspection. (sighs) 
I think you're getting a mirror held up to you from this person showing you what your shadow side is. Look, you've got love here. Uncondition unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, attraction, affection, and date. Meeting someone new, dating, getting back out there, plan set a date. So this one might want to date you to get information. This one wants love with you. <coughs> well, you better send a date for when you're going to take out this soulmate of yours and show them the love that you have. Because otherwise I'm getting wounds here. Relationship, our wounds. You're going to wound this relationship unless you can rekindle it. And drop that, whatever that is, because they're not interested. <coughs> oh, what is that? <coughs> Smoky smell. It's not that. It's not that. Oh, the oven's not on. I don't know what it is. It's driving me nuts. <laughs> Got the air vent behind me up there, so maybe it's just, like I said, a barbecue going on. Alright. <coughs> and I'm a smoker, so, you know, I'm going to cough anyway, but I just keep getting the smell of, like, burning wood. That someone's got a Barbie going or something. Alright, what would you like to say, Gemini? We belong together. I've hidden my love for you. Can we talk? And I love you. Who's this to? Who are you saying this to? I hope it's your soulmate. Because if you're saying it to this unrequited one, you're going to be in for a big shock. Hmm. Yeah. I know I messed up everything. That's what you want to say to your soulmate. If they find out, you're stuffed. I regret letting you go. Yeah, because ha that's that ex you haven't released. There's this seat here that you haven't released your ex, and that's that soulmate. Yeah, and you will regret it because this unrequited love is unrequited. Alright, love energy coming towards Gemini. At least three cards. What would they like to say? Alright, we've got one. At least a couple more. We have, I love your smile. <coughs> I feel like I'm losing you. I love holding you. It's that flirty energy. And I wish things were different. Hmm. That could go in the middle, that one. Well, that could be either one, really. And this could be the this one saying, oh, I wish things were different, but I just don't feel that way. After you've blown, you've lost this soulmate. See, bottom of the deck, and now I don't trust you. They don't trust you anymore. I wish I had treated you better. I'm sorry I lied to you, and so many songs remind me of you. So your soulmate is listening to music, and they don't trust you anymore. I think the unrequited one was probably wish they had have made things a bit more clearer and they're sorry if they lied to you with that flirting maybe. Um, 
But yeah, your soulmate will never trust you again. Ooh, Gemini, this is a hard one there for you, isn't it? This is a, well, not hard, because it's pretty simple to me. If you're here wanting love, then don't bother with that one that's picking your brain about, you know, is all about money and information. And the ex that you is at home waiting, watching you offer something to someone else, <coughs> it's probably going to walk away. Hmm, I mean, flip it if you have to. I mean, this could be the ex that doesn't care anymore, and this could be a new soulmate that you was coming in, but um, I'm not really feeling it that way, but, you know, it's up to you. You know how it will fit. Um, yeah, so that's a pretty simple choice. You've come here for a, the love energy. Well, this is the love, and that's an unrequited. It's pretty simple. Okay. All right. Well, that's your reading. <laughs> um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. If it doesn't resonate, that's cool. Just check out another video. You know, if someone needs to hear this, that they're risking it all for over someone that's not interested in them. So, you know, it's a bit of a heads up. All right, we'll do another reading in a few days, see what's going on then. All right, well, all the best. Good luck. Make the right choice, Gemini. <laughs> I'll catch you later.